Mr. Janine Watson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Homecoming 2022 at Bulldog Stadium. Earlier today, we honored some of our most acclaimed Laporte natives at the Distinguished Alumni and Citizens Luncheon. Our honorees were nominated by community members, and a volunteer committee recommended our honorees to the Laporte ISD Board of Trustees. Please join me in recognizing 2022 Distinguished Citizen, someone who blesses Laporte in every way possible through her family's organization, Agape Centric. Rachel Cotton. Now we recognize the person who helped write the books on Laporte and its history and preserved many artifacts through the years of voluntary work. 2022 Distinguished Citizen Ann Malone. We also honored three distinguished alumni today. Laporte graduate and longtime Laporte ISD liaison to the community and media and tireless community volunteer, Terry Cook, Laporte High School class of 1981. Laporte honor graduate who has been involved with the district for more than 50 years, many of them as a volunteer, Debbie Phillips Wade, Laporte High School class of 1979. Legendary cross country coach and the founding coach of the Laporte Girls Cross Country Program, Joel Fagan. Congratulations to the 2022 class of Laporte ISD, distinguished alumni and citizens whose plaques will soon be on display at the Hall of Honor at the Bulldog Center. Please give them one more round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the school songs.
The national anthem will be presented by Laporte High School ASL Club, directed by David Duvall. Tonight's captains for Goose Creek Memorial, 32, Gabriel Valencia, 66, Adrian Aralmo, and 83, Randall Sombera. For Laporte, number one, Jamad Jackson, number eight, Elijah Hurtado, 13, Deshaun Woolley, number 50, Big Nate White. Laporte to receive. Okay. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Homecoming night, partner. Little uh, 8-5-A action eight, early in the season. 5-A. Yeah, we were talking that about that. That is hard yeah. for us to get used to. <laughs> 21s, 22s, and we dropped to 8-5-A. Yeah. Going north. That's all right. Uh, what, whatever it takes. That's right. Goose Creek Memorial in Bulldog Stadium tonight. Uh, Memorial knocking off Bel Air last week big. 50 yeah. to uh, – Wow. 50 to not a lot. And uh, <laughs> Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Not enough. Yes. Uh, a. Lee Felsick, we uh, traveled to Crump last week, partner. We, yeah. Uh, took the W over there, 47-14. 47-14. Glad to see some points put on the board. Coach Bernethi's first win as a uh, head coach here. As a Bulldog. He, he – uh, we, we did do an interview this week. It'll be at, at halftime. You'll get to hear him talk a little bit about uh, the game last week, and then uh, he kind of talks about what we were expecting tonight. Yeah. Um, Bulldogs will get the ball first yep. here. Start Back off for our Bulldogs. Landon K. Keenan Lawrence. Keenan Lawrence. Partners, sir. Uh, let me tell you, Keenan Lawrence took the opening kickoff last week. Back to the house just like he did at Deer Park. I don't think oh, this wow. is going to be long. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, it's going to go about to 30. Yep. Don't do that. Yep. yep. Can't do that one. We I lost eight yards. Tyrese Barnes. I'm going to take caught. the shoe off to count, but it was eight yards. Yep. Uh, Jamad looked really comfortable last week, partner. He, uh, yeah. he he grew a lot in that first That's after awesome. that first week. That's you know, awesome. <clears throat> one of the things that we talked about in the coaches show, uh, you know, you're in your third week. You should see a lot of settling and moving around. All that right, stuff is taken right, care right. of here. Yeah. So. Getting more comfortable with uh, play calling, and here we go. Good, good rush right there. Hey, got a little extracurricular up top also. Yeah. Uh, Keenan Lawrence, like I said, I, I, I asked Coach Speed. Bernice, Speed. Yes. Speed. I, I asked him, I said, do you really believe that we're going to see another deep kickoff the rest of the year? And he, he, he looked at me dead in the eye and said, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, All right, here we go. Bulldog second and two. Wing T. I sure like enough. It. I like it. Hit the a little fullback. Oh, look here. We got a fullback yep. that's going to take it for the first. First down. Who is that? Is that Tyrese? It is. It yep. is. Number three. Tyrese Barnes. Sophomore. That's the other thing. I had people coming up to me uh, last couple weeks asking me, is it really that many sophomores? Yes, there is, folks. Yes, folks. Yes, there is. Yep. yep. A lot of good things on the horizon for the Bulldogs. Got our field camera working tonight. Who is that? Carson uh, Carson Mickelin. That's how his parents say it. Mickelin for everybody else. Yep. Okay, in motion. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. And he's gone. Keenan Lawrence. See ya. To the house. Yes, sir. Just like that. You That's, just. I, I, hey. Yes. Uh -huh. you, you just said he's got his feet under him yep. now. Yep. You know, and here, here's what's funny. Uh, that's that's uh, those, both of those young men are related. Yeah. Jackson and Lawrence. Yeah. They are related. That's a great one. Kenny's going to go to the house. Uh, Real quick, like 10.35 left in the uh, first. A minute, 25 seconds, and they're on the board. They're on the board. Kenny's grandmother and, and Jamad's mother is down on the on the fence down there, hollering for both of them. There she goes. She's going to sit down. But yeah. It's a good snap. Oh, Step it. through it. Looks like it's up. Hey, look at here. We're hey, on the board. Seven to nothing right there. Um, let me tell you who's working tonight. Talk to those. us. Let's see here. Cameron's tonight. Ronan Marler, Jack Bilski, Carson Mickelin, Tristan Spears. Where's Tristan? I didn't see Tristan. Uh, sound production and overall producer, uh, Manny, he's in the booth. Uh, Jarrett Browning, he is Wizard of Oz tonight. He's the uh -huh. one. If the if the replay j falls off tonight, it's his fault. Yeah, that'd be uh, Jarrett Browning. Uh, we took Keith off of sound 
and put him on graphics and, and uh, replay. Yes, sir. And partner, it's me and you. Alan Teague is my partner. Corey yep. Muller is my name. That's it. Uh, here's a little replay Jed for you. Jethro. So a little replay here. Yeah. Rolls out. He put it on a dime. He did. Keenan almost missed that. Keenan, a I center mean, he, fielder. He, he, yeah, he had about eight yards. <laughs> he did. He did. He had a, about an eight-yard gap on the defensive player. You did get to see the distinguished alumni and citizens at the beginning, and um, Kyle was uh, the voice that you heard, our PA announcer here in the stadium. Uh -huh. Terry Cook, Debbie Wade, Joel Fagan, Ann Malone, which was not at, well, not present tonight. She was at the, the, the luncheon. And then Rachel Cotton. Okay. Uh, Rachel. Uh, we want to thank uh, you. Uh, tell them thank you. And uh, glad to have them aboard. Ann Malone, y'all, if, if you have any ties to LaPorte, you know who that is. And then Rachel Cotton is. is so. Yep. It is uh, our our citizen. The rest Here we go. Alumni. That's going to go. Oh, look good. at it. Don't my, you wish your. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Uh, that if that that was you, close. Don't you wish you could hit a golf ball like that? That ball True skips that. back into the field of play. I can, but it takes me twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to use a foot wedge. But ball comes back into the field of play. We almost recover it. They'll take the ball out to the 30. That's what he's yeah. telling you. It's going to be a little flag there, but that's all right. Uh, varsity Volleyball was uh, moved up, as they always do, because it's homecoming. They played at 430 today over in the Bulldog Center. They played uh, Santa Fe. All right. I check on their score. We'll get that for you here in a little bit. My partner's good at that. All right, here we go. It's gonna keep it. That's a big old. Oh, fella. there was a there was a hold right there. Yeah. Easy, easy. Coach Coach Bernethi had told me that the quarterback runs the show, and the yeah, first play from scrimmage for them. He, there he goes, Cameron Davis. Gonna have to get him down. Yep. Big offensive line. We knew they were gonna be big. Not as athletic as Deer Park. Right. Big offensive line though. Have to keep them off the second level. Yep. Speed kills. That's that's what we need to remember. Hey, there we go. Get to Good the ball. Good tackle after about a three-yard gain. Isaiah Castillo running the ball for the Patriots. Yes, yeah, sir. I like that chrome look. Yeah, it is I, I, different. I like that chrome look. It looks good. All right, here we go. Second and seven for... Uh, Goose Creek Memorial. Elijah Hurtada. Stack them up right there. Elijah Hurtada Hello, did his was, job. Yep. Very good. These, uh, as, as my partner said earlier, you know, uh, someone asked him, is there that many sophomores? Hey, these kids are growing. Oh, they you are. You know, they by, are. by the end of this football season, they will, they will not be sophomores. Class-wise, yes, but... On the field, no. And that is really neat to see because uh, uh, a lot of promise. Oh, They're going after him. Get him, him Fitch. Oh, he yes, got sir. Him. Yep. Good play right there. Jalen Fisher from the backside. Don't you get know his sack. eyes were that big around? Oh, no. <laughs> I got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, he, and he can run. Good defensive call right there. Fourth Come. down and nine, so. Short side of the field. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a block punt or, a, you know, bad snap or. A, a, get another. Yeah, get stomach something. ache or yeah, something like something. that. Yeah. Landon K is the only one back. It looks like we're coming to get it. Fish has got it. Ooh. Oh. He yep. kicked it into his back. He did. Fish he did. made. Oh, that's Boom. awesome. I call him Fish. That's what we call him. Jalen right. Fisher from the outside made the back step back into the punter. Uh huh. Ball. Yep. Blocked by Memorial themselves. A little help. 
little help from your friend from the I other side. We needed something. There it is. Yes, sir. We're thirty between the thirty-three and the thirty-four. Uh huh. Oh, you got to go for the jugular here. Yep. Everybody. Go. All right. Sandlot right here. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Speed sweet to okay. Yep. Ah, he was trying to cut back, caught yeah. him at the right moment. He's going to get – he may lose a little. No, he's about to – back to the line of scrimmage. Yes, sir. He's a little light, so weight-wise. All right, here we go. Second down and ten for the Bulldogs. You take advantage of this. All right. Get lined up correctly. I got trips trips to the top of your screen. Bubble screen. Out to Keenan. Good move. Ah, we're gonna get flagged. Yeah, we're gonna backside didn't matter to it at all. It's gonna be Right. Didn't matter to where twenty we're, yards away from the play. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe it's on them. I don't think it is. Let's see what the white hat has to say. I know his microphone works, so. Hey. You called it. Block below the waist. First down. I, I saw him getting up. I saw I, I thought it was us that did it, but it was yeah. not, so that was good. Yeah, and as long as no one gets hurt, exactly, we'll take that 15. I think that was soap. I saw that was. Keep going. That's going to be 15 and automatic yeah. first down. There's a bus back there somewhere. You can keep going. Puts it on the Tw uh, 17. 17. Yes, sir. 17. All right, here we go. Fresh set of downs here. Three backs. Yep. Mr. That's quick. He's gone. Oh, oh. Uh, man. Just, Safety. Yeah. <laughs> Safety just saved a touchdown. That I, he did. Their numbers are hard to read from up here, but let's see. I believe his number is two. I, ben I, Gaston. I thought for sure he was going. Uh, it may not be just two, it's just something else. And I can't see it. 20. That's ah, okay. Second down and one. Not a full one, but. I like the misdirection. Yeah. Wrinkles in the. in the. It, you, everybody also asked, did you see everything at Deer Park? We didn't see a, a fraction of what Coach Adams' the defensive side was going to do. Yeah. And it's, uh-oh, had too many people moving. And. Uh, uh. Zach Witt, our offensive coordinator. False start on the offense, number 80, five-yard penalty, second down. False start on the board. Second and six. Um, Zach Witt, our offensive coordinator, already throwing in a couple of wrinkles with the misdirection with Keenan there. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Yep. Tyrese and Keenan in the backfield. Quick hit with the – oh, let's see what happens here. This might be a backside. Okay, in motion. Yep. Reverse. Yep. Nope. They got him to bite. <laughs> it's going to be a first down. Keenan. <laughs> we got a replay of that. I want to, I want to see Keenan as he was going for the first down. Keenan left his feet. All right. As he goes in right here, you see him with the sweep and watch Keenan. He's going to lower his shoulders, <laughs> and he just let <laughs> he just let them all take him. That's right. He'll pick up the first down and be first and goal now. Yes, sir. Just outside the five. Student body. Yep. He's gonna That's going to score. There it is. Yep. Tyrese. There we go. Just like that. Uh, this is a different team if you watched this Man, on the first week. No doubt about it. Watching a little bit of uh, – Let's keep it going. 
a lot of game to play, but that's a that's a different different. Very look. positive. Very positive. Yes, Jag sir. will step in to cook kick for the Bulldogs. Good snap, good hold. He stepped through it. Looks like it went right down the middle. Yes, there it is. Fourteen nothing. Hey, upcoming games on LPSN and uh, Laporte Sports Net Two. Nine thirteen volleyball. Texas City will be invading the Bulldog Center. Uh huh. Okay, and then uh, nine twenty three football versus Barbers Hill here. Barbers Hill Eagles. Yeah, they're they're they look pretty good. Hey, they they did a graphic for the guys. Look at here. Look at this. I love These it. are the guys working tonight. <laughs> they are serious. Look at <laughs> that. That is absolutely awesome. I love it. <laughs> Ronan Carson, Jack Jarrett, and Tristan. There you go, folks. That's the guys working tonight. That's five baseball players, by the way. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. in trouble when it gets to baseball season again. <laughs> it's all right, though. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I was going to say, we, we love having them out there. Uh, Keely and uh, Keely sat in the booth with me while you were uh, becoming a, uh, while you were giving your daughter away. Yes, sir. Uh, congratulations. Thank to that. you. Multiple. Thank you very much. Multiple congratulations. Uh, is she off the payroll? Uh, she has been for a while. That's yes, right. She's yeah. been, she's been working right. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Plus she owns her own house. She owns so. her own house, yeah. so you don't even have to you don't have to worry about right. that. Uh, she, she's more like her mother. That's God. there. You go. There we uh, go. There you go. Enough uh, said. But Keely sat in the booth with me last week. It was enjoyable yep. having her. Everybody liked it. It, it was fun. Come on. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Get him right oh, there. Oh, nice tackle. Who yeah. is that? 34. Yeah. That is. Young man's got some speed. Jorge Rodriguez. Nice Th job. Thank you, Jorge, making that tackle. A pretty good tackle coming from the backside. No doubt. They will start on the uh, – Bulldogs out of the field. 47-yard line. Or the 53. Yeah, whatever, you know. yeah. <laughs> depending on what, what school you want. I'll be to. nice. Oh, got him right there. Elijah Tata again. Locked him up. I like it. Put don't, them don't, arms don't, around Yeah, him. don't, don't. Let's not do anything no, yes, silly. Just don't do anything silly. Jose, yeah. that's... Uh, Wait a minute. Did we change some numbers? Elijah Hurtado's. I got number eight. Yeah, and Yuri Bright. Okay, it was Yuri Bright. Yuri Bright was there also, 46. Yeah. Uh, on the initial contact. He's going to pull. Yep. Uh, he's, he's not going to pick be it. He's just be short. short and, yeah. But I'm assuming they'll, they'll go for that. Austin Leal coming in from the safety position there. And you know, what What he did, He, he I mean, he just outrun – all his blockers. Yeah, we were we we bit on the fake, and not, and and then he did exactly like you said. He yep. just outran his, his third blockers. down and one for the Patriots. Uh oh, nobody's oh. there. We came we came with the blitz again, partner from the backside. Yeah, Jalen Style came. He was wide open. He was if it flying, would, yeah. Yep, if it had came to him, we would have stopped it. Jalen Stow, excuse me, uh, making the blitz there. Again, Coach Adams coming up with a with a blitz. Good scheme it, it there. It was a good scheme. Yeah. Austin Leal's going to step up on the line, play a cloud here. Let's see what happens. He may go get him. Nope, he's got it. Uh-oh, he's got him. Fisher's Turn got him. Knock oh, it down. Good job. Good job. Excellent job. That young man's probably a foot taller oh, yeah. than he is. Fish. There you go. Help him up. That's good sportsmanship right there. Fish outran him. The problem was that I didn't see that Leal had, was beat off the line because he was checking in. Yeah. And uh, number he seven. in there. Yep. Number seven. Yes, sir. Was uh, gone. All right. Here we go. Second down and 10. From the 36. He's break in down, trouble. Break down. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get outside. Make get him. him. Come back. Good. We made that tackle. That was a good tackle. Yeah. 
That's Austin Leal again, wasn't yes, it? Sir. It was from the yes, back side. I thought it was. Man. I can't see. That the young man's got some he's got some speed. That Yes. I mean, and Coach Bernethi said it before we when yeah. we we met this week. You ain't running. Good. Not running that one. Outstanding job by Jalen there. Yep. Stayed at home. Jalen Stow with another good play there. Good play. Coach Adams Little bringing the yardage on that one. Bringing the right call. Yep. It's going to be fourth and fourth and eight. You, yeah. Something like that. Yes, sir. I'm, I believe that is it. Looking for a play action here. Brings in the five D backs here. Going to the eagle look. Cloud down low. Looking for Watch the guy him. coming across with a yeah. bubble. Tackle him right there. Tackle him right there. Oh, goodness gracious. We let him get away. Gary Bright has to come from the other side of the field to get that tackle. Yep. Had him behind Had him. the line of scrimmage. That we did. And, that uh, we did. Let him loose. We, we almost... You know, it, it was kind of like we read that, but yes. just couldn't react. Had a hurt, Fast had, enough. Had a I hurt the coach's feelings there. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. All right, Ben, but don't break. Inside the red zone now. Hand off straight up. Again. Who, is that Austin again? Nope. Number 21. No. That's uh, Andrew Villarreal. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Man, we're flying to the ball. I like yep. it. Dogs in white tonight. I like that clean white. Yeah, I do too. Two step. Get him. Oh, uh, Elijah. He's going to throw the end zone. Yeah, he's way was, out of bounds. He had to let it go. Too many footprint, footsteps behind him. Yeah. I heard him from up here. Oh, no, that's Andrew, just people in the concession that's stand. Yeah, that's people above. Andrew in his hip pocket as he was rolling out. All right, here we go. Third down and, ooh, seven yards. Right at it. Another bubble. He's, He's not going to get there that this time. Yep. Hey, we wrapped up Andrew Leal and, and um, that's uh, – uh, Labode. Yes, sir. Janelle. Uh oh. Two seniors converge on the stop there. They want to protect that. Uh oh, we don't have anybody over top. We don't have anybody over top. They've got three to none. Okay, there we go. See with the crossing. He's going to have to throw it out. And that's. Wow. He was just sitting there yep. in that in that little soft zone right there. Grinnell with another open field tackled. Probably saved a, a touchdown on that. I don't know if there was anybody behind him. We back him up and let him out. Ooh. Punter. He hit the line of scrimmage and we went no further. We have people flying to the ball. He lost a yard there. Deshaun Woolley, yes it is. Deshaun Woolley with his first time getting uh -huh. his name called tonight. Showing up. Coach Lee Martin calling in the plays on the sideline. He's getting them in in plenty of time. Something that we have had issues with in the past. Oh, Stop him. Outside. He's not nope. going to get there. He's, he's, he's going to be, be right at it. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. third and about a yard. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the other official should have it, yes. I uh, see the quarterback keeping this one. I I agree. We need a pinch. Oh, uh, what a play, but he's going to yeah. fall in there. Yep. Yeah. His momentum carried him over. All right, that's going to take us close to the end of the first. It will seven be. Seven seconds, yeah. yeah. It will be. They're going to have to. They, they'll have to kick this, but Andrew's helmet came off when he made contact, so he's, they've got to stop the play. He's got to come off the field. Doc's got to check him because of that. Mm -hmm. 
They'll kick this, and there will be a kickoff. But there is about seven seconds left. Yes, here. sir. Oh, we're going to get to that tonight. Before it's over with. Yep. I was watching him in uh, in pregame, and, and uh, he was kicking some line drives. But anyway, uh, Goose Creek Memorial's on the board. Bulldog lead, 14-7. We'll uh, await the kickoff here. Let's see who we have here. Uh, we, we don't ever talk about the coaches and who all is out there now. I'll give you a rundown who we have. Doug, uh, Coach Tamke, Douglas Tamke, he's our assistant coach. Lee Martin, Coach Swain, Daniel Swain, Joe Cornett, uh, Ryan Haar, Coach Perry, Michael Legan, Marcus McGraw, Philip Causey are our coaches this year. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Again, Coach Adams comes to us from Southern Arkansas University. Zach Witt was uh, Coach Bernethi's coordinator at Dobie. Uh -huh. We brought him over when he came. Partner, it looks like he's set up to kick an onside kick almost. The ball is pointing You're towards right. about the 40, the You're minus right. 40. He moved it, didn't he? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think that was where he was trying to kick. I'm, See if they I kick think it'll it be a squib this. kick here. I, he's not going to go. Oh, nope. he's going to kick it deep. Yeah. Yep. Going to go straight ahead. There we Get go. Get some blockers. Get some blockers. Turn it up. Oh, my goodness. That was a great block. Boy, it was. That will run us to the end of the first quarter. And with that, we're going to take a break and uh, let you hear from some of our fine sponsors. We'll be back. We are Gringo's Tex-Mex. All right, folks, we're back. That was a quick one. Mm. Ref's not wasting any time there. Got them a drink of water, and they're ready to go. That's the thing about football. Everybody thinks yep. that they want to they wanna advertise on football, but we don't control that one. Yep. We don't have the breaks that the other ones do. So, All right, Bulldogs on a, about a three-yard three yard gain there. Kobe Garrett with – the uh, carry. Like you know, to see the senior in there. But I, I missed last week's game. You know, being that they were, I was away, they were away. But uh, I, I can see a different uh, fire in these in these young men. It, yes, they, you, you have two new packages. They've got to get to it. We've had three coaches in four years, and yes, sir. They've got to get used to that. We'll we'll get it all together. And it's usually this third this third week that you see the most right. improvement. Again, it's homecoming night. Oh, speaking of homecoming, so you you will see uh, you will not see Goose Creek Memorial's band because we don't have the rights to that. But it'll be abbreviated uh, band performance because they, we will do the homecoming court. They will perform after the game. Uh, the band will. The band yes. will. Yes, sir. So. Don't fret. You'll get to see it. Yep. Oh. Did oh, he, outstanding oh. catch by Landon K, and then he drops yep. it on the ground. And he's going to catch it, yes. Yep. The ground yep. caused it, yes. Yep. It was a oh, catch. Man. Very had good. He, had he been – had he had his balance, yep. he would have uh, – He was just going to take off. He was gone, yes. Good call by the official. The linesman on the other side saw yeah, that. You're right about that. It was right there at him. You are right. I think we have we may not have enough time to show you a replay because we are rolling, but that was an outstanding catch by Landon. Yes, sir. Jamad again putting it on the money. All right, here we go. Oh, he's got he's him. Gonna roll he's out. holding him. He, yeah. Oh, he got it. Landon K Landon in the end K. zone. Yep. Yes, sir. Touchdown. Just he, like that. That there were there were gonna be two guys open, but one was being whoa, mugged. Whoa. Yeah. Yes, he was. But that's okay. We can set this replay up. You'll watch the from the from the top view, you'll see that the uh 
the safety was beat and and just absolutely he he did what he's taught to do yeah, not you know? to give up the touchdown right but just like that bulldogs on the board 1008 left in the first half good snap uh oh did it go through no it didn't nope. I'm, I'm glad you have them good eyes here's this play Oh, we're not going to get to see the formal, but you'll see the pass. Jamad with a uh, – again, uh, a oh, dime. Yeah, a dime. Oh, You're right about beautiful. that. Beautiful. You, you know, you, you said that the, the first week that that young man can spin it. Mm -hmm. he, he can throw it when he's he, – I don't – When he has time. You know, yeah. again, that, that Deer Park game as the first game of the year puts a lot of pressure on you. It does. It, puts, it does. It just changes a lot of things. And uh, they they – did a good job of what they were trying not to show yeah. and, and performing, but he's been in it there for sure. Yes, sir. Bulldogs up 20 to 7. They'll be kicking off to the Patriots. Coach Bernice, he's holding court down there, talking to his Ooh. offensive unit. Yeah, we don't want to put that on the video. Oh, nice there, kick. Good kick there. Oh, somebody. Close got, on him. Close somebody, on him. Oh, somebody got decleated. Yep. A good hit. Yep. Who was that? That is number 33. 33. Guy. Calvin McAvoy. Uh oh. Young man's getting up a little slow there. He's getting off the field. That's a good thing. We don't want anybody hurt. Nope. A little stinger over there. Yeah. Probably frogged it leg, as we yeah, say maybe. in the country. Maybe something just. Tw they will set up shop at the 35. 20 to 7. Yes, yeah, sir. Not 21 to 7. They're going to run it. Oh, we had a Man. collision. No doubt. Who was number 40? Number 40. We haven't, we haven't said his name yet tonight. 40 is Jose Vidal. There you go. Bringing the hat tonight. That he did. There's that five back look again. Yep. Get him right there. Get him. Young man is elusive, I yes, tell you. Yes, he is. Teddy had him. Yeah. They're going to be about a yard short. Third down and one. Uh, they weren't even set. Uh -uh. But they'll get yeah, away with they it. They got away with that one. Yeah. They were not set. Tried to do a little quick hit on us. Mm -hmm. They work for them. Timeout call by the Bulldogs. There it is. We'll take it with them and uh, let you hear from one of our sponsors. Thank you very much. Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding, too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. All right, folks, we're back. Bulldogs called time out there to, to kind of make some adjustments there. And, and uh, cause Goose Creek was moving fast there. Got to see a quick uh, version of main properties commercial. Mm -hmm. Wizard of Oz there. 
Here we go. Speed sweep. And that's oh, a, there's a hold <laughs> right in front of him. He just tackled him. <laughs> it's a, you cannot see that? He was beat. He, <laughs> he Goodness was, gracious. He left early and still got beat. Uh-huh. He left early and he was still late. <laughs> he was still late. <laughs> Gain of five on the play. Goose Creek settling in a little bit, moving the ball. That they are. They're going to run the ball quite a bit, that's for sure. Ah, can arm tackle. Uh-oh, two. Another arm tackle. Teddy's got to go get him. Oh, nice. Pop there. We can't, we can't wait till he's 20 yards down the field. Yeah, they're, they're going to move quick. Bo again with a, another one. We, we not. do not need a track. Mm-mm. Mead here. Mm -mm. Ah, they were moving. It wasn't caught. Good tackle, though. It was a good call. They, they are not even set and right. letting them play through, which, you know. The, on the right side of the line, they towards the tight end, it, uh, they were moving. He was moving. Yep. Andrew got there again in the backfield. Changing that package again. Yeah. Dropping them back. Let's see what a little offset here. See what happens. Go get him. Oh. There we go. If he's going to stop his feet, you run through him. Right. Andrew again on the tackle. No, that was 12. Yeah, that, that was uh, Escudero. I, I don't know how long that young man can keep that up, but uh, – Jalen Jalen lost contain for the we first time. We need a scout tonight. on him. Yes, sir. Going cloud. There we go. I got to move him. And there he is. He's back over now. He's going to keep it again. He oh, just when you think they he don't he's, that. Yep. He's, just he's hold him looking up. up, partner, and he's seeing that five defensive backs, and right. it's messing with him. Yes, sir. He had, he thought he had one on one, but you have Liao over the top of about a yard. Should be fourth, correct? It is correct. Yes, sir. They'll bring on the field goal kicker. Watch for the fake. You know, hey, this is one of those they can get to right here. Partner, they can, as you said earlier. Fish is down low Good on your screen right here. He's yeah. he's all the way to the far right. See if he can get there. He's oh. Ooh, I line driving good. Yep. All right, just like that. They're on the board again. It's Twenty to ten. Ten point lead for the Bulldogs. Seven eighteen left. They're doing the best they can to not allow us to change our packages. They're, right. They're, they're You're right. No huddle and no substitutions. Yes, no, no substitutions. Yeah. And trying to keep that package on the field. Yeah. You are correct. Check some scores from 8-5-A. As soon as my 8-5-A. That's just hard to get used to. <laughs> but it, we have to for two years. Yeah, for two, for two years we do. Yes, sir. Oh, somebody's at my house. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Deer Park's up twenty-one to nothing over Westbrook. Okay, I, 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 I'm I'm going to say this, and don't don't hit me, but I think Deer Park's a little better than everybody thought they were. Right. Uh, Crosby's up twenty to seven. They're playing that game at Crosby, and they're against. Uh, that's against Baytown Lee. Okay. Barbers Hill is up twenty-one to nothing over the the over Sterling. Okay. They're playing that at Baytown. Good old Stallworth. And here we go. Little no, pooch. Let it let it go out of bounds. Oh, don't let it do that though. Oh I think we got, right, it. we got it. We got it. Yeah, don't let it do that. Woo. Uh, I, we got lucky. I I thought for sure it'd bounce on out of bounds, but it didn't. But nonetheless, good field position here. We've got seven minutes and 18 seconds to uh, burn that clock. I apologize again. Santa Claus showing up early. I'm telling you, my house is blowing up. All tonight. right, here we go. 
student body. Keenan didn't follow the blockers. No, he didn't. He's not going to go down. Right. Plenty of time on here to go down and score again. Yeah. That'd be about a two yard gain, I think. Uh, they're not going to give him anything. I thought for sure he got past the line of scrimmage before his momentum was held up. That's all right. See what we're going to do here. He's going to keep it. Good job. He's That'll be a first, first down. down. Yep. Uh, New Caney Porter. That's uh, they are in our district. That's they playing. are in eight five eight. Yep. Uh, Kingwood Park is up fourteen to seven. They're playing that at. Uh, well, I don't know where they're playing. It should be at big stadium up here in Kingwood. Mm hmm. What is that, Texas Dry, Texans, Texas Stadium or whatever, yeah. it's, whatever it's called. It's right off of 99 and 59. Planet Ford? Yeah, that's what it is, Planet yeah. Ford. All right, here we go. Oh, A little fake. Oh, oh he tripped over his oh. lineman. Goodness. Lineman got tripped up by the, the defensive uh, guard. Uh, anyway, he got yeah. tripped up, fell. Keenan, beautiful <clears throat> misdirection. Yeah, it was. It was. Inside handoff and Braden Nelson got tripped up there. The lineman, he and Forty from Memorial got tangled up and they'll lose a yard and a half. Oop! They're on him. Oh, he gets away. Oh, he goes down. First time that he was just absolutely under pressure. They that is true. House. That's the first time. Brought the house on us that time. I'm looking for Port Arthur. They may be. When you run that far downfield, your quarterback has got to have some time. They need, they need to end or someone to hit that little soft zone and sit there and wait. Because Jamal running for his life there. Oh, nice block. Wide open. Turn it up. There you go. Good move. <laughs> Young man. Man alive. <laughs> Woo. There's and a we're going to get 15 more. Yeah. It's... Let's just hope we didn't. Uh... Keenan just broke his ankles at the sideline and Boy, he, he didn't did. like it. So he uh, hip tossed him. 15 yards is going yep. to be added to the end of that run. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Keenan. Keenan uh, Hang on a minute. They, they got to get numbers. Right. White Hat's going to tell us everything. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number eight. 15-yard penalty at the end of the run. You called That's it. That's number eight's first unsportsmanlike conduct Personal of the game. Personal foul the Patriots. Uh, partner, the moon is orange. I see that. How about that? Yeah. I just don't know. Uh, that's a good sign for how bad the score will be in I hope uh, so. Austin that, tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> hey, let me let, – let, let, the weatherman that, that works in Austin probably will never be able to work in Austin again after his prank yesterday. Yeah. Uh, he had a flood warning and put it on the screen, and it was a Crimson Tide flood warning. <laughs> Did you see that? No, I yeah, didn't. So he'll, probably, he'll probably never. Goodness. I, he'll probably yeah. never work yeah. in Austin. He'll be in Houston working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Alabama. Yeah. Six yards picked up there. Good job. Another misdirection. Yep. ISO's working. Yes, sir. Counter with an ISO, counter with an ISO, roll out and throw it. A little inside handoff. And... All right, here we go. I'm going to watch Landon K here. He's oh, in the no. slot. Yep. He's facing. Oh. Be, it's a keeper. Not a keeper, but a yep. handoff. Yeah. That's, that's all right. That's a. 
That's a, That's a good game there. right there. Yes. About a yard short, yard and a half short of first down. I, we'll man, take that third down. I was afraid he was going to walk that. I was hoping he was going to walk it out up just a little bit more. Yes, sir. A flood, huh? Crimson Tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turn it up. First down and more. Oh, 150 pounds of him just absolutely Ooh. ran over somebody. He is smooth. Keenan Lawrence. Yeah. I don't know how many all-purpose yards he's has, he has already this year, but two kickoff returns. He's already yeah. caught one pass for a touchdown. Here we go. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. He's us. He's smoother than yeah, Miss Butterworth, I, 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 sir. I'm telling you. Yep. I'm telling you. Oh, we've got people sending in stuff. Let's see what we have here. What we got? Folks, right. if you're watching tonight, Derek Land. Hey, bud. Appreciate watching you. Watching the game tonight. That's oh, he's score. Oh, yeah. he looked Ooh. for contact. He did. <laughs> he looked to run over that young man. Tyrese Barnes is going to take it into the end zone for take the Bulldogs. Take the house there. You go for two here? No. No. Too early. Folks, if you're watching, send it in. LP Bulldog, if you're a Twitter fan, text somebody that knows us. They'll send it in. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. Yep. We thank you very much. I think we hit the 8,000 mark last, last home game with uh, the Deer Park Deer. Uh-huh. Step through it. There we go. That That's better. better. There it is. Yep. All right. Just like that, 27 to 10. Bulldogs, 257 left in the first half. Let's this see. first half's moving along. Let's see here, partner. Here's a little replay. Yeah. I hadn't even had the chance to fix a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm telling you, it's been up and down. Right. We've got sponsors that need to be uh, heard from. Heard from, but we're going to stay here because we they are already we, moving down the field. Yeah. Um, we do appreciate our sponsors, Beth that Brady. That we do. Uh, been one of our longtime sponsors, Beth Brady Insurance, mm -hmm. uh, Main Properties, Luann, uh, Gringos. Yes, sir. They've been there. South Region Driving School, which is right here behind the stadium. Mm -hmm. We've got some new ones. Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's and Wingstop. Wingstop. They're South Region. Yeah. Bring some. Uh, uh, my my favorite is, is, is Luann. And uh, free chips and, and uh, salsa. There she is. I told you. Yeah. Look, there she is. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> Put sold on your sign. And then there's free chips and chips after the game. Look at him. Look, there he is. Danny He's Hanks, styling. one of our board members. Yes, sir. Longtime sponsors. And they, and they take care of And a very good supporter of, uh, of this program and uh, Laporte Athletics. Yes. They absolutely take care of us, and we appreciate them. Yep. No doubt. Very. All very right, here much. we go. A little pooch kick there. Filled it at 25. Oh, Ooh, a little Ooh. pop there. Oh, a little gain tackle on the other side. Poor number two is, he's, uh, yeah, he's getting, he's had a rough night he's tonight. He's had a rough night. Yeah. You're right. 24. That hurt me from up here. Colton Smith. Uh, Another Colton Smith. He, he, yeah. Uh, another D cleater. Yeah. All right, here we go. They're going to move quick. 248. They're starting at the 30. Oh, ball bounces. A little short stop there. Can't, yep. I was going to say, couldn't field the play. Guriel would have fielded that one. Partner, speaking of, of baseball, you know, the fall league – is uh, started on Wednesdays. We we've, we've played uh, two games already over here mm -hmm. at the baseball field. Okay. Oh, that's ball a on the ground, pass. and it's we a, got it. That's nah, a forward pass. Yeah, it's it is. You're right about that. You're right about that. I uh, got excited. Yeah, I did too for just a second because I I looked down and looked up, but he was he's too far for him to reach out there. So it, had he caught it and took off and dropped it, then it would have been a different been, story. Yeah, exactly. Uh, again, at halftime, you will you will see the coaches show. Coach Bernethi and I sat down at lunchtime on uh, Tuesday, spoke a little bit, and then uh oh, 
I'm T-Rex arms when you get hit a few times. Yeah. My arms get a little shorter. Uh, you'll see that, and then we'll come back for the homecoming court and announcement, and then the band will perform after the football game, and you'll yep. see it in its entirety. Hey. Fourth down. Fourth down. 238 or 238 left here. We've got yeah. time to put another score hey, on the board. Let's, uh, let's block this punt. Fisher gave or, him. Or let him kick it into the it, back of one of his own right. teammates. Fisher gave him troubles up. He's got oh, oh. layout, Jalen. Yeah. Fair catch by Landon. There it is. There you go. At the 40 yard line. Bulldogs set up camp right there. 233 left in his first half. They're up by 17. Yes, sir. Again, as my partner was talking about, it's uh, homecoming, so uh, folks, don't uh, don't fret. The band will be, they'll play at the end like they always do um, and do a great job. He's got the ball. He's got him wide open. Land, Landon K, turn it up, turn it up. He's going to take gone. it. Yep. Yeah. See ya. The misdirection took we, the team across the ten field. Ten seconds. Yes. Yeah. You're Across right. Across the field. That was a good fake by – Oh, man. I, I was looking to see who had the ball, and Jermod turns and fires another perfect strike. Yep. <laughs> straight he to land that ball on the dime. Uh, it is – I mean, perfect. And uh, then again, he, he's got some speed to throw to, oh, so yes. that's a good thing. That's his second, correct? Yes. Yep. Nice snap again. That one uh, looked good again. There it is. All right. Ten seconds. Yep. Here's the play. Again, an outstanding fake. Everybody went with them, even our camera operator. He had a five-yard <laughs> gap on him. To the house. Outstanding. I'll trade field goals for the touchdowns. Yes, sir. 33-10 now. 34-10, excuse me. Hey, it's it's been a while since we've been able to say thirty four in, in the first half. Right. <laughs> yes, sir, you are correct. Ten seconds. We took we, we took possession at two thirty three. Yeah, I, I bet you next door to us was probably sitting there thinking, I wish you could have taken just a little bit more time <laughs> off the clock, but that's okay. Hey, you know what? That's just right. what happens. It is what it is. Sometimes in football. Hey, we got a pretty good crowd showed up tonight, partner. Correct. Correct. Uh, pretty good crowd. Yep. So two games played already, you say, at uh, baseball field? Uh, two games have, have yeah. been played. We'll be playing again on Wednesday. A little pooch kick there. I Fair like catch called. That's what you got to do. I like that. Yeah. It's 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 safe. Yes. Fair catch it. Put yeah. your offense on the field. Yeah. Let them, don't let take them a go. chance on Nope. Don't take a getting chance. Getting hit and fumbling exactly. the ball or getting stripped of the ball. Looking forward at the Bulldogs football schedule, September 16th. That's next, next Friday. We will travel to Stallworth at yep. 7 o'clock against Baytown Lee. And then uh, Barbers Hill comes here on the 23rd. And, Woo! folks, I'm going to tell you, you better buy your tickets early that Correct week. Correct, Amundo. Because uh, – All right, here we go. Again, they're offsides, and we're going – Yep. I like it. Put Stood your, him up right there. Put your hat in his breastplate. I like yep. it. Look how far back that, Villa, that receiver yes. was. Villarreal, and again – Fish and the receiver were yeah. 25 yards negative. All right. Oh, oh quick almost, hitter there. Yeah, almost jumped in almost front of it. Almost jumped he's around. He's going to be right there at the first down. I, th I think he's going to get it. Nope, they're going to say third down. Yep, he's going to be a little short. Clock's running, minute and a half. And I, I think set. right now they're set. Yeah, Goose Creek doesn't want to give the ball back. 
Uh -oh. Had him off balance. He's got some speed. Run him out of bounds. Don't hit him out of bounds. Don't give him extra yardage. He's, he's at the 30. Out. Yep, he's going to get out and stop the clock here. They're trying to get something on the board. They yeah. do not want to go down, go into the locker room at half. We're going to yeah. call time. Yes, that's a good idea. All right. Bulldogs are going to take a timeout. Partner, let's take a break. All right, we'll take it with them. If you're ready to become a skilled and safe driver, contact us at South Region Driving School. We are conveniently located next to LaPorte High School. We offer driver education classes and private driving lessons for teen and adult drivers. All courses are state approved and can be tailored to meet all your driving needs. At South Region Driving School, our top priority is always the safety of our students. We are currently practicing in-class social distancing. DPS has a very long wait list for driving tests. Don't wait, we can do the DPS approved road test here at South Region. From the first time behind the wheel to the day of the driving test, we'll guide your team to success. At South Region Driving School, we develop safe drivers. All right, folks, we're back. Minute 16. Goose Creek Drive in there. Let's see what they dial up here. They're going to throw the ball again. Nope. He's going to try to. He's going to try to keep it. Turn him up. Get him. Oh, Elijah. Oh, you got play. Oh, there's, there's a block a in the back. It's coming well, back. It's coming Two back. Two of them. And he'll throw it past and the And we're going to pick scrimmage. it off. We got it. Pass, yes. Yep. Pass the line of scrimmage also. Get him off the field. Yep. Coach Berneath is going to take the interception. Yep. Don't give him a second chance. No. Coach Bernethi is in the hip pocket of the official. Yep. I didn't get to see. Let's see the – oh, there's the student section. There we go. It's packed over there. They're having a good time. Do we have the replay? Let's see who, uh, let's see who made the interception here. They're gonna, it's going to be a second. Two, two blindside blocks. That is Austin Leal. That's exactly who he it was. He read that. Yep. All right. Let's just hang on to the ball. Minute one. We're on, on the six-yard line. We don't want to give the ball back gonna, to him. Partner, I'm going to tell you, uh, Coach Witt may go for the – really go to the juggler here. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to go student body. Keenan's going to get eight up right there. Yeah. They were looking for him to pull. They're, they're cheating that line of scrimmage knowing that, that we're going to run the ball. You're going to let that clock run down. Oh, yeah. You're not going to snap. There's only, to... uh, yep, thir about 13 seconds left. I mean, 13 seconds difference, 12, something like that. You, you, you stopped them. They were absolutely walking down the field. Yeah. Stop them. Just quick handoff, let them hit the line, and then uh, we'll go to halftime. Full back. Oh, nice block. Yep. That's going to pick up. Yes, we're going to pick up what we needed to get out of that end zone. Yep. Eight well, seconds left. Coach Bernethi is going to take them to the locker room. Outstanding first great half. Great job for the Bulldogs, 34 to 10. Um, coach's show will be played right here. Fans are on their feet as the Bulldogs are leaving. Awesome. Uh, coach's awesome. show, homecoming court, second half band. That's where it is. All right. Mattress Mac, we'll see you. <laughs> Hello, Bulldog Nation. Week three of the football season. Uh, coach, last week, go over to A-Leaf Elsick, pull off a great win. First win of the season, plus first win as head coach here. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, we were talking before we walked in here. I don't know if you'll get another kickoff deep uh, after uh, Ken Lawrence takes his second one to the house. Right. Um, you know, that does go back into preparation. Tell me what you've done on the being prepared for that in the th one of the three phases of the game. Yeah, um, 
You know, we have pretty much co-special teams coordinators, Coach Kazi and uh, Coach McGraw, and they do a great job of preparing the kids every week for special teams. We have a, we have a full-blown special teams meeting every Monday, uh, dictating what we want to do, and then, then every day we start practice with special teams. So um, they get individual work, they get group work. Uh, our JB does a good job of servicing the varsity with their, uh, to get a, a good look during the, the week of practice. Um, so they take pride in it. Um, as far as Keenan, he's, he's very talented in, in seeing the lanes and being able to get to them. But everybody else on the field is doing their job, too. Um, I hope people keep kicking it deep, um, you know, and, and I've, been, I've been impressed and, and pleased with our kids' performance on, on kickoff return. Well, you know, you, you, there has to be a block to make the lane open. Right. Um, and, and you saw that, especially the Deer Park game. Uh, there was a couple lanes opened up for him, the cutback lane. Uh, once he got outside, he did make a great, you know, a, a leaping. Leaped uh, over his own teammate. Over his own teammate. Yeah. He was trying to block downfield for him, and right. then you go into go into there. Uh, moved the ball well. A uh, few few adjustments on the offensive side going into last week. I think it's just more of the experience of execution. Um, you know, the first game it was it was real fast bullets for the first time, and and you know maybe the game kind of slowed down for the players this week. Um, you know, understanding, and, and we got in. The big thing after the first game was Saturday morning. Every every player was here, like they were here, ready to get better. And and um, every day after that, they continued to work hard and, and get better. And you know, and then like I told them after the game, um, you know, Friday night with the win, it was this is the result of all your preparation and your work, you know, over the past five months. You know, so I think it was just you know, calming down, understanding, learning to execute seeing what we did wrong in the first game and, and correcting it and moving forward. You know, a lot of people don't understand. You, you, make, you bring in new packages, and, and these are high school students, and they have to learn their new assignments, and they have to know what their job is. That first week, we throw them out there against Deer Park, and, and the distractions and everything happen. We go into Elsick, you see them settle down a little bit, and then you come back into the third week, the week we're going to talk about now, and right. it's homecoming. Right. Uh, do you see any distractions so far that we're that you'll need to work on for this week? Uh, really, the the players have handled it real well. You know, um, there's been places where I've been where homecoming is a distraction, but I haven't seen it from our players this far this week. Uh, you know, I was more concerned about Monday being Labor Day because yes, and and I will give our players a lot of credit, freshman level all the way up. You know, we had great numbers of attendance on on Monday. Um, usually, you worry about the sub varsity teams, yes. not but. You know, we have really good attendance. Our players are here. I think they're excited. You know, every team in our program won last week. So I think that's, uh, you know, those, the, the players are ready to continue that. And they showed by their attendance on Monday. You know, we normally don't touch a lot on the underclassmen, but freshman A is now 2-0. and oh. Right. Uh, beat Deer Park 37-6. 37-6. They won this past week. 42-0. Uh, to zero. Yeah, the, sure. game, the game ended actually six minutes early. So Running clock. Right. Uh, and it ended it early. Um, a lot to look forward to as we come into this, as you grow this season, as you move things around. Uh, going into to Goose Creek Memorial this week, right. uh, homecoming, tell us a little bit about Goose Creek Memorial on the offensive side. Yeah, their quarterback. Their quarterback makes them go. Um, uh, you lose contain on them, he can make you pay. So we got to keep him in the pocket, uh, make sure we tackle well. That's one thing we've been working on this week is tackling well. Um, you know, Elsick had an athletic quarterback that could run as well. Yes. Uh, we had uh, we got to do better, making sure we're tackling at the first opportunity instead of letting them slip through and and then rally into the football. You know, I think if we can get to their quarterback, um, you know, I think uh, we'll have a successful night. You know, that's the guy that makes them go. Defensively for Goose Creek, it's it's kind of you practice against it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see? Is anything that changes this week in preparation for your offense? Well, they're they're an odd front on defense, so um, you know which Elsa ended up being against us, and um, you know Deer Park, kind of a modified odd front. So, as so far as like rules and um, execution and all that stuff, it's just, it's pretty much the same. Uh, blocking at schemes and not not having to change a lot for our kids, and it's just getting better at the little things. You know, taking a good step. Uh, finishing blocks, um, you know, all that type of stuff. But uh, GCM, um, defensively, their first game they, they lost in overtime to Galena Park 30, 
six to thirty-five, you know, and uh, that was kind of a back and forth game where they didn't do very well on defense, and then they they come out last week against Houston Bel Air and went fifty-one to seven, where they they did play well on defense. So, you know, we need to be ready for their best their best night. You know, they they've improved dramatically from last year also. Right. Uh, second year package coming in, you know, the, they didn't lose a whole lot and bring everybody back in. I think it's going to be a little bit different team than what we, we faced last year going into this game. Um, one of the things that also I want to touch about, we normally don't do this either, is tell me a couple people that stood out last week grading-wise. Who, who Did anybody grade right. above what they did from Deer Park? Yeah, um, I think the whole entire offensive line you know, graded way better. Um, you know, I know you said individual people, but that group as a unit played way better against Elsick than they did against Deer Park. Um, so I'd give them all, all, all of those guys, uh, you know, some pluses. And I feel like our quarterback played better. I think he played, um, you know, Jamal Jackson played more within himself and more within the yeah. offense and not trying to force things. Um, so um, I think, you know, those two, those two groups, you know, played definitely better. I believe our running backs played better. The whole time offense played better. Uh, you know, graded better. So, but I think the offensive line more so than anybody on the field. And then uh, defensively, I thought our secondary played played a lot better and getting lined up quicker and and coming down and making tackles and uh, understanding where they fit on the defense and and also not blowing hardly any coverages at all. Had a couple right. interceptions in the game, one big one in the end zone. Austin Leal had an interception in the end zone, which it kept them from scoring. So, and I, I think the secondary for sure. You know, a lot of people want to tell you that the third week is tells you the most about your team. You right. know, that you, you get through this, you get into this week. We talked about Labor Day, everybody showed up. You, you, you made the comment that they're, they're willing to be here, they've done what they want to. We've always decided that, or we've always thought as third week, this is, this is where it's going to be. Do you feel like your team will, this is the right week for them? Yeah, I mean, I feel like everybody's on the same page of, of every week we're going to get better. Um, but I, I do believe, you know, we've had, uh, you know, so far this week we've had great preparation. Um, and, um, you know, practice has been good. You know, I feel, uh, you know, we start practice every day with a drill called pitch sweep where it's good on good offense versus defense. And, and uh, you know, it's the defense knows we're running the ball and the offense knows we're just going to run the ball and it's, it's a tough man competition. So, yes. you know, Monday the offense got it. And the def yesterday the defense got it. So, uh, you know, it shows the competition and the kids stepping up and facing adversity. And I, I believe our kids are understanding that, you know, when bad things happen, we can still turn it around and, and have good things come, come ahead. So, yeah, I, I believe week three will be a big week for us. The website went live uh, two weeks ago lpisdathletics.com. You can also pick it up at lpisd.org. Um, who is re who's writing the articles for football? <laughs> yeah, uh, Coach Ligon writes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a it's a it's actually a group of coaches. So okay. whoever's the head coach of that uh, that team writes the article. Um, coach Ligon then edits and and because uh, you know he's an English teacher, so yes. he's. He's making sure everything goes through him, you know, and edits and corrects any, you know, punctuation or whatnot. But it's a, it's a bunch of different coaches. Uh, Coach Ligon uh, is the one that writes the varsity articles. Well, I've had more compliments on the articles of being able to go in and see, you know, see the kids, know who they are and how it was coming across. It's been a great job by him. I, I want to pass that along yeah, to him. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, the, the, the website is, is going to be a tool for us at some point when we get into recruiting and Mm -hmm. And while we're doing it, we used it during the game against Deer Park. We used it the other night in the uh, volleyball game. I used it for a little bit to just pull up and familiarize myself with the, with the players. Uh, they're doing a great job. Folks, we will be here hopefully every week this season. I know last week was a little hectic with us, but we'll be here every week this season. Check it out, lpisdathletics.com. That's our website. Coach Bernethi and I will, will uh, see you next week. See you Friday, homecoming, distinguished alumni and citizen will uh, have a luncheon in the Bulldog Center. They'll be, uh, uh, they'll be out on the field, I think, before the kickoff, and then homecoming at halftime. Uh, we'll be there. See you there. Thank you all for watching.
Secretary, Jimena Molina, Vice President, Sarah Silva, and President, Selena Rodriguez. The dance officers are Lieutenant Macy, Macy Slavic, Slavic, Lieutenant Ariel Thompson, Senior Lieutenant, Itzal Gutierrez, Senior Lieutenant, Isabella Balboa, First Lieutenant, Isabella Baez, and in the center, your captain, Madeline Teague. Charter Line Sergeants are Jaden Bishop, Brianna Vela, and Mackenzie Walter. Dancers of the Week are Jaden Bishop and Sienna Naren. Spirit Girls of the Week are Mackenzie Walter and Kayleen Veselka. Special thank you to our Director's Chair Sponsors, the Cummings Family and Lone Star Integra Insurance. Platinum sponsor is Bayside Plumbing. The charters are under the direction of Janine Watson and Brianne Patek. Good evening, LaPorte fans, family, and alumni, and welcome to the 2022 LaPorte High School Homecoming Ceremonies. During this halftime, we will meet the eight candidates for Homecoming Queen and the eight candidates for Homecoming King and crown this year's winners. These 16 young ladies and gentlemen were nominated by the senior class and voted on by the entire student body. They, along with the rest of us, eagerly await the announcement of the school's choice. Please welcome the 2022 Laporte Homecoming candidates. Tonight's first candidate is Lillian Alvarez. She is the daughter of Carlos and Angela Alvarez. She is escorted tonight by her father. Lillian is very active in her church with youth church services. After high school, Lillian plans to attend San Jacinto College to earn her associate's degree and then transfer to the University of Houston at Clear Lake to complete her education as an elementary school teacher. Our second candidate is Brady Kyle Axtell. Brady is the son of Brian and Amy Axtell. He is escorted tonight by his mother. Brady is a member of the National Honor Society and is involved in multiple sports, including cross country, track, and basketball. Brady has not settled on any one particular college at this point, but plans to study sports, marketing, management, as well as run cross country and track to his chosen college. Our third candidate is Jaden Kimura Chanel Armelin. She is the daughter of LaQuincy Nelson and Chanel Arlen. Jaden is being escorted by her father this evening. Jaden is an officer of the Multicultural Diversity Group Common Ground and is a member of the track team where she performs hurdles and the high jump. Jaden plans to attend Lamar University in Beaumont to pursue a career as a neonatal nurse. Our fourth candidate is Degoberto Garcia Jr. He is the son of Degoberto and Blanca Garcia. He is escorted tonight by his mother. Degoberta is a four-year varsity baseball player here at LPHS. He plans to attend college and major in chemistry to become a radiologist. Isabella Grace Balboa is our fifth candidate. She is the daughter of Christopher and Sonia Balboa. She is being escorted this evening by her father. Isabella is a four-year member of the Laporte High School Chachos and is a senior lieutenant. She is a member of the National Honor Society and serves as treasurer. Isabella is also senior class vice president. Enrolled in the ACE program, she has earned membership into Phi Theta Kappa 
Isabella is an AP scholar with distinction. After graduation, she plans to attend a four-year university with a strong pre-med program to study medicine. Our sixth candidate is Sean Gonzalez, who is the son of Chuck and Norma Gonzalez. He is escorted tonight by his mother. Sean participates in student council, DECA, and the business club. Sean plans to attend Texas State University to follow his sister's footsteps and study business and fashion marketing. Hannah Elizabeth Dunn is our seventh candidate. She is the daughter of Tim and Olga Dunn. She is escorted tonight by her father, Tim. Hannah is the cheer captain of the Laporte Cheerleaders. She is a four-time UCA All-American and a TGCA Texas All-Star. Hannah plans to attend the University of Houston to obtain a bachelor's in criminal justice with a specialization in forensic science and also hopes to cheer for the U of H athletic program. Itzel Gutierrez is our ninth candidate. Her parents are Edgardo and Damaris Gutierrez. She is escorted tonight by her father. Itzel is a four-year member of Chato's and serves as a senior lieutenant. She is a member of HOSA, National Honor Society, and ABLA. She also takes part in the ACE program for early college and will graduate with an associate's degree. Itzel plans on attending college and medical school to become a pediatrician. Our 10th candidate is Elijah Hurtado, son of Liliana Hurtado. He is escorted tonight by his mother, Liliana. Elijah is a proud member of Laporte High School Bulldog football team. Elijah plans on continuing his football career at the college of his choice and earn his degree in medical science. Hanya Jimenez is our 11th candidate. She is the daughter of Roberto Jimenez and Viviana Cortez. She is escorted tonight by her father. Hanya is president of the Abla Club, which is meant to provide a positive outlook and support system for all students and celebrate the Hispanic culture. She is a member of the Chato's dance team where she serves as executive social officer. She is also a member of the academic decathlon and, in the event, and is, the, is the event officer for the 2023 senior class. Hanya plans to attend college to study journalism and communications and liberal studies to become a speechwriter. She believes in the power of words. Our 12th candidate is Adrian Ramkasun. He is the son of VJ and Amanda Ramkasun. He is escorted tonight by his best friend, Kaylee Smith. Adrian participates in student council and the HOSA program. After high school, Adrian plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin to pursue a career in nursing, fulfilling his desire to work as a traveling nurse. Candidate number 13 is Annalisa Olivia Nicholas. She is the daughter of Brian and Kim Nicholas, and she is escorted tonight by her father. She is a three-year team member of the LPHS varsity soccer team. And Alyssa is also a member of the National Honor Society and the ACE program. And Alyssa has an interest in going on to either Texas Tech or Baylor, where she plans on earning a master's degree in biology, then continuing to medical school to become an orthopedic doctor. Noe Rangel is our 14th candidate. He is the son of Michael and Leah Gonzalez. He is being escorted tonight by his best friend's mother, Christina Suma. Although he has not participated in any LPISD extracurricular activities, Noe spends a great deal of time on perfecting his mannerisms, style, and cuteness. After graduation, he plans to complete his basics at San Jacinto College and then transfer to the University of Houston to complete his education. Our 15th candidate is Abigail Ochoa. She is the daughter of Francisco and o Ochoa and Christina Suma. She is escorted tonight by her father. Abigail has participated in band and LPISD for six years. She is first chair trumpet 
And after graduation, Abigail plans to attend Sam Houston State University to become a high school science teacher. And our final candidate is Ethan Runnels. He is the son of Eric and Patricia Runnels. He is escorted tonight by his mother. Ethan is a longtime band member of the LPHS Marching Band. Ethan has plans to participate in the Drum Corps International after graduation and then attend the University of Houston of Clear Lake. Assisting Principal Carlin Grammer is Adrian Wiltz, co-sponsor of the senior class. Now that all the candidates have been introduced, I am proud to announce that this year's Suspense. <laughs> While we are preparing to receive. Uh, reveal the results are there's a special thank you to the Bulldog Band and the Chato's Dance Team for assisting in tonight's ceremony. All right, we had to wait for the drum roll. I am pleased to announce that this year's homecoming king is Joshua Humphrey. I am also very close. I am also pleased to announce that the 2023 homecoming queen is Hadia Jimenez. As the other candidates leave the field, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Compton's Florist for donating the roses for our homecoming queen and the scepter for our king.
All right, folks, we're back. Getting ready to start the second half here. LaPorte will kick off to uh, Goose Creek Memorial. LaPorte's up by 24. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going here, partner. Oh, oh look at here. Look at here. Oh, we got trouble. They I touched it. I think we it. got that. Yes. They touched it. Yep, it's LaPorte <laughs> ball. Hey, that's how you started off, Coach Bernetti. There we go. Okay, celebrate and get off the field. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Uh, that's a turnover. Always we'll works. We'll take that. Um, that shocked everybody, even me. I know. I, w I was looking down trying to bring, bring the stats to you. Yeah. Landon K, 109 yards in the air with uh, two touchdowns. Keenan has a 67 and a 20. All right, here we go. Hand off. He is lowering his head. He you. said, "He said, if you're gonna get me, you're gonna get some." You know, I, I said it earlier. He 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 lowered his right. head, let his feet just do follow, the, do and, the talking. Yeah, and and he is uh, he's running. Just it. be careful lowering that head. I'm trying to get numbers here. Jamad has 197 yards in the air. Wow. Good half. Two long ones. Got some feathers and some yeah. other things on the field from homecoming. Good pass. That's how you hit him when coming He's gone. out of the. He's gone, folks. Coming out of the break, the ball was thrown. Wasn't it? Oh, that was good timing oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh. You you Kate, don't see oh. that a lot with a with a high school. Quarterback, Caden, you know what I'm saying? Caden Hisataki, sophomore wide receiver, is going to take it to the house. How about that? Caden yeah. Hisataki. That was perfect. Yeah, it was. Out of the break, the ball was gone. Well, you know what's nice? Get that, that onside kick there, and uh, just two plays later, you're on the board. So we have uh, Oswaldo Lopez is kicking now. Extra point. He did. He one-stepped that. Yes, yeah. he did. Ooh. Here's a replay. We need to have the wide view. But as he was coming out of the break, ball was in the air from Jamad on the money, and Landon's telling you it's a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's a baseball player right, for you. It is. Here it is. Wide view. Watch it. You're going to see it as he as he's coming out of the break. There it is. That's at his. Oh, right. Can't teach it any better. Yeah. He has really grown since last year. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He, uh, you know, going down with the that injury. Confidence, yeah. And, and, and True. You could, see the, you could see the hesitation a little bit in the first game against Deer Park. He got settled at Elsick. Yeah. And, uh, then again, at, at Deer Park, I mean, you know, they weren't small up front, and they had some speed. He, he was, he was running for level. his life. He yeah. was. Um, but, the, you know, and that's a hard game to play first, first game, game of the season. season. It, yeah. is, it is very hard to play. Yeah. I'll check on the 8-5-A scoreboard for you as we go along. I, I have uh, – You play a big 6-A school. Yeah, that's, that is absolutely true. You know. I don't like the new Texas football scoreboard. scoreboard. Yeah. I, it's, I know they try to improve it, but sometimes you make it a little bit worse than what it is. Yeah. Deer Park's up 35 nothing over Westbrook. I say that for a reason because I want you to understand. Don't go out of bounds. Just a little too much. Yeah. Crosby 20, Baytown Lee 14 at the half. Hey. That's that's. And Crosby's surprising. ranked. Very surprising. Uh, Galveston Ball, they're no longer in our Legal district, procedure. but Galveston Ball 27 nothing over Five yards uh, be added Madison. From the end of the kick. Barbers Hill 28-7 now at the halftime. They are playing Sterling in Baytown. Mm-hmm. And – Port Arthur is the team off this week. They are the bye. Let's That's see. wild how our our open date is into the it's now in the yes. district. Yes. Yeah. It hasn't been that way before. No. Uh, our last score in the Kingwood Park Porter game. All right, here we go. Oh, they contained him right there. Very good job by the backside. Yeah, no doubt. Kingwood Park is fourteen. Uh, Porter is seven. Again, that's it's been a while since anyone scored there. It still says second quarter, 10.42 on the clock. So, you know, that's a lot farther yeah. along than what it shows. You know, coming home uh, down 45, well, I'll wait. 
Whoever that nice young man was, he <laughs> waved. People waving. He it. must be a fan, one of few. Ah, got to go yeah, outside. We, got it. We got to break. That's something that the, the adjustments will will make. Right. Right. That we have As to we go along here. Make him bounce back inside. Yeah. No. Um, stopped offside of 45 coming home the other night. It was like three in the morning, something mm -hmm. like that. I was trying to take that Teague. Texas sign oh, off yeah, the yeah. pole. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't. It oh, didn't, uh -oh. man, look at the speed. Uh-oh. We're going to get him, but he's going to get yeah, down to the three. He's going to get inside And we five. got a flag. Ooh. This may come it back. May come it come on was, back. It was uh, 40 yards down the field yeah, after nice. the play. And that's not a dead ball. Oh, man. Come on back. What's happening here? This may get interesting. We'll see what yeah. Dwight Hat has to say here. He must have must have been a late pancake or something. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offense number 77, 15-yard penalty, first down. Woo, that hurt them right there. That was – that, and that here the thing about us. it, partner, yeah. he was being tackled when that happened and, and again he was at the 32 yard line okay so, so it's going to be it's going to be from the end of the play right so they'll they'll take it back to the 18 yeah but again they're lining up quick i mean nothing there Nothing but white shirts. Nathan White just put the massive arms around him, and he just stopped dead in his tracks. Yeah. I, I guess the announcer, the the referee's mic broke, mm -hmm. and he has to hold it. I'm not sure why it broke because it was working earlier. Quick snap. He's going to go to a bubble screen, and it's not yeah. going to go. This three receiver yards. over here is looking at the line judge. Yeah. Trying to get lined up, and he's already ball snapped. was snapped. Yep. Yeah. Ball was already thrown. Well, I can tell you. It should be third down. Our our signals are in immediate as the ball is being Putting, spotted. It, we're, yeah, our, put, our, our, yeah. They're in. Yeah, you're right about I'm, that. I've watched Lee this whole, this whole game, and we are not messing around. No, it is not taking time. That's the way it should be. They got a one-on-one -on -one up top. Got to make a tackle. Got to make the open field tackle. Oh, he, he's going to score. Yep. You got to make that tackle. Yep. One Go. on one on the outside. And Watch he's... his feet. Yep. Watch yep. his you know, lower yep. body. Don't look at his upper body. That, that one's going to be hard. I, I saw it as it as it you developed. You called it. It, it was yep. it was sitting there for the picking. Yeah. Chris Creek's going to get on the board right after our score. Mm-hmm. Minute 57 in. Oh, we can get to that. I don't know why we haven't yet. All right, there you go. All Four, right. 41-17. Bulldogs up. They'll be receiving this kickoff. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested now in the Baytown League Crosby game because – that's you are you're right. right. That's interesting. Ranked, ranked team coming in, Baytown Lee, uh, putting 14 on them. Now it's that it's at halftime. I understand yeah. there's a lot of football to be played, but that's we got interesting. Lee coming up. Very interesting. Yes, yeah, sir. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, the homecoming festivities at halftime there. Again, as my partner said earlier in the game, uh, the band will play after the conclusion of the football game. What do we have here? It's you know if. if Teams continue to do that that pooch kick. You, you know, it, it it tempts you to try to move him up in a in a uh, 
in a spot, but he, he can't get that momentum and see more of the field when he's up, right, right. you know, playing up like that. I, I expect, yeah, we're, we're going to drop that second line back a little bit. They've, they've moved back to the 35 on the direction of the kick. Oh, this is going to be, again, going to go to Tyrese. Oh, Landon's going to get it on the flip. Yep. He's going to turn it up. He's going to get out to about the 44-yard line, 43, somewhere around 43. Good they're, field position there. They're staying with the misdirection. Uh, it, it's, you know, one of the things that we've watched. And yes, sir. Partner, uh, Terrell Bernard, Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Picked up the big win last night. Man. Uh, it was it was uh, fun watching him. I'm so happy co for him. Covering the – Open it. The, their opening kickoff. They didn't. They didn't. They had the ball first and scored. But yeah, well, uh, that was a. That was a Heine whooping. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. Uh, strap on. Turn it up. Ooh. Turn it up. Quit running sideways. Yeah, he's. He's got to put his nose in there. Yep. You're gonna run out of real estate running sideways. All right. We're gonna uh -oh. take a break. Yep. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back. Let you hear from a couple of our sponsors. We are Gringos Tex Mex. Home to sizzling fajitas, quality ingredients, friendly team members, and excellent value. Whether it's a lunch with friends, celebrating a special occasion, or picking up dinner to bring home to the family, think gringos. We're in business today because of this great community that supports us, and we thank you. We are your hometown Tex-Mex, here to serve you before or after the game. Go Bulldogs! Getting that perfect slice is satisfying, fulfilling, and rewarding too. But we don't do it for fun. We do it for fresh. Slice to order makes a sub above. If you're ready to become a skilled and safe driver, contact us at South Region Driving School. We are conveniently located next to LaPorte High School. We offer driver education classes and private driving lessons for teen and adult drivers. All courses are state approved and can be tailored to meet all your driving needs. At South Region Driving School, our top priority is always the safety of our students. We are currently practicing in-class social distancing. DPS has a very long wait list for driving tests. Don't wait. We can do the DPS approved road test here at South Region. From the first time behind the wheel to the day of the driving test, we'll guide your team to success. At South Region Driving School, we develop safe drivers. Cool in the summer, warm in the winter. Barrett's Heating and Air Conditioning has been keeping LaPorte comfortable for more than 50 years. Residential, commercial, new construction, repairs, even yearly maintenance. Call 281-471-1118. Barrett's is family owned and operated with expert friendly service and Barrett's is a proud supporter of the LaPorte Bulldogs. All right, folks, we're back. We, uh, we hate to see anybody get hurt. Hopefully we want everything to work out for the young man. We're going to resume play here. Clock should be running. There it goes. It's going. Here we yeah. go. Back to action. Uh-oh. Somebody yeah. didn't hold her water. Yeah. Too many folks moving. 
Now to back us up. Oh, you don't like getting your number called if you're one of those five, but that's Kylan Manning, sophomore. Great, great young man. He will uh, he'll hear it from, from Coach on that one. Back him up five would be second in about 14 now. Yes, sir. Doesn't change the plan. Looks like they're going to line up in the same formation. And off. Hey, there's Kobe putting his yeah. head down, picking up four. I made yeah. five, almost Almost four. got back to the line of scrimmage. It's all right. Um, third down and so ten and a half, almost 11. Young man was taken to the sideline by the cart, but they did not take him out of the stadium. So we're, we're believing that it's, it's an injury, but it's not where he needs to go to the hospital. Valencia. Oh, oh, first pass. It was yeah. just a little high. Uh, Landon was wide open. He would he would have picked up the first down and a lot more. Yeah, had he been about a foot taller, kind of across his body. A little, yeah, a little hard That's to throw true. there. Ball kind of sailed on him. Yep, kind of slipped out. All right, uh, Jalen Fisher. First yep. punt. Yeah, first punt of the night. Yeah, Jalen Fisher will punt. Fisher Kanapik will snap. Uh, and they're gonna they're gonna play in a. Well, they may come from the outside, but Fisher to Fisher. Yeah, they're gonna ease up. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Feel the oh. middle. Oh, good job. Good snap. Quick kick there. Hey, this oh, ball good bounce. is gonna take a great bounce for the yeah. Bulldogs. Good it's roll, get inside Bulldog the 10. Roll. Yes, sir. Keep on, keep on. It's gonna get down to about the <laughs> eight yard line. They're waving <laughs> at it. Andrick Esc Escadero is <laughs> trying to Push it along there. We're trying to coax it a little bit further. Fisher's going to get a. It was ugly, but uh, effective. You have to put an asterisk beside that one. He, he got a bulldog bounce. Mm -hmm. And then another bulldog bounce. Must have been that sewing that happened that time. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Goose Creek coming back out. It took no time to. Uh, they don't huddle, so. Right. And that's the quickest possession we've had all night. On our side. Pile him up. Make a pile. I've heard that before. Ten uh, gets to the ten. Yeah. I, hard to see from this angle. Yeah, it's going to be eight. Second and eight. Maybe seven. Stop him. Ooh, we got away with one. Yeah. Across the face mask there. I but saw that. Got away with it, but it's okay. It's 36. They're going to line back up. Quick to go. Nathan Barrera on the tackle. First and 10 from the 26. He's going to pass it out. Tackle. There you go. I don't think he wanted any anyway. I, I, I think, it's, I think said, it surprised him. We had right. we flashed him. That is true. And I think it surprised him a little bit, and the ball hit him, and he caught it. Yeah. Again, uh, Vidal on the on the tackle. All right. Right back on the ball. Lost a lost, four on that yeah, one. Yeah. Lost a yardage. Oh. There's that middle. Man. Jalen with the tackle. A first down. Yep. He picked it right back we up. Had plus Ole 11. there. Not a Casa Ole, but an yep. Ole. Middle is getting to the second level, and his, and his Fadal gets off a little bit, and it's wide open. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Let's go, dogs. Quarterback keeper. Oh, I hit him. He's got that ball out there. Yeah, it's going to come out. It's it out. did come out. out. You called it. There we go. You called it. Bulldog ball. I think Tyron got that. Tyron Williams, he did. Yeah. He got the ball. Ball was ball was a loaf of bread. Yeah, you you he'll get talked to on the sidelines. You, that's one thing you don't do when you're down by by 24. You want to be able to 
Keep possession of the ball, especially when you're moving the, the ball like that. Quick change. Downfield. Yeah, quick change here for the offense. It would be, uh, yep. again, we've, we've had receivers open all night long. What do we? Take over from yeah. the, that's the 32 here. here. Kobe Garrett, there it is. Set your feet. Oh, good. Nice catch. Good one-handed catch. Kobe Garrett with a one-handed catch. Brought it into his body for a gain of, what, seven? Six? I believe it would be like six. Yep. yep. If coach get out of the way, they'll line the ball up. <laughs> coach Coach Bernithi on the field. The coach from uh, Goose Creek, he was right in front of the line judge. Here we go. Pitch back. There, there it, it is. There you go, young man. He's, He's gone. gone. See you. Night, night. Tyrese Barnes, the sophomore, is going to take it in for the Bulldogs. One two. cut, two cut. Yes. He's gone. Usually you want them just to make that one. Uh-oh. Let's hang on. I think the basketball. Oh, somebody lost a helmet. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Braden's helmet come flying off at some point. The wind must have got it. I remember what game, what college game it was last week that they, oh, it was the Arkansas-Cincinnati game. That 27 times the helmet came off. Really? Yeah. You, that, that's, you just that don't not see the helmet. it that much. It's not the yeah. helmet. Yeah. Yeah, they're just not. You got to strap it up. Yeah, exactly. It's not a fashion statement. Oh, he's not set. One step again, it doesn't matter. He was still backing up when the ball was snapped. Oh, uh, we may have a penalty. Yeah, he threw a flag over here on the – I see some laundry there right there was on the on, sidelines. Was it on? Okay, offsides on them. Good. Okay. It's hard for the kicker to be offsides, but it's possible. <laughs> I've seen that, so I'm telling you. All right, just like that, Bulldogs up 48 17, 637 in the third. Another great block downfield. Kobe Garrett's going to spring no right there. You're right about Absolutely that. Absolutely good yeah. job by Kobe getting that Man, last block. Man, it's terrible to have a replay. I'm telling you. Good job in the booth. Leads back to 31. I don't mind the pooch kick, but let's kick it at the numbers and not the – Yeah, not the sideline. Not the sideline. Yes, sir, you are correct. They're, we they're don't want to give them extra yardage already. They, uh, so they, they have shown they can move the ball yes. quick like. They kind of self-destructed on a few drives. and Jack will kick off for the – Bulldogs. Yeah, that's a lot better. Right on there the numbers. You go. Colton Smith is going to run him back in to where uh -huh. he's supposed to. There you go. Number nineteen, Dylan run him Shaw. Run towards your teammates. Dylan Shaw will get the tackle for the Bulldogs. They'll start about the twenty-nine. Yes, sir. Ball set to play. Here we go. Ooh, Nathan White went low. I was watching Nathan. Yeah. Elijah Hurtado is going to pick up the, ta the, the tackle there along with the linebacker, but Nathan went low. He saw it coming at him. I like it. Make a pile. Right. Got a Make that pile. Hope your teammates are behind you. One in the middle again. He's looking out. for that rollout. Yep. He's going to have to. He's going to keep it. Yep. I like it. Andrew yeah. Villarreal again. Putting that face mask. Right in the bread basket. Yes, and I, I got caught off guard. Coach Bernithi and Elijah were talking. and uh, Something shiny's on the, on the field. Oh, no, that's the it's a pom pom, isn't it? Yeah. Stop him. There you go. <laughs> Turf Young monster man. partner. Oh man. <laughs> Turf monster. That area's 
Just uh, fourth down. Uh, uh, you you got to. What do you do? I mean. Right. You got to go. Oh, no. He's going to punt. Well, 521 left. Oh, we got a replay. Show it in out on the. Oh, you, don't show it on the board, though. Show me a replay. Ball start on the offense, number 17. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. They are very fortunate. Oh, they were very fortunate on Man, that. They are Let's very see what fortunate. happens. Yeah. Go ahead and play it while we – Mom, it's like – Oh, yeah. Hello. Um, Jalen did exactly what we thought he'd do. Right. He's going to get it again. He, <laughs> yep. Got it. Think, he I think he it. got a piece of it. Get away from it. Just get away from the ball. Got a, got a Peter call. Get off of it. Oh, we got some extra cricket going on up there. Yeah. There you go. Get up. Yeah. Don't say a word. Just come off the field. Yeah. You see the J Nathan, Nathan Barrera and someone on the north side of the field. Or yeah. that's the west side. We're, we're looking at it. The east side of the field. East side of the field. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Bulldogs set up shop at 40-yard line. Six-yard punt? No. Two-yard punt. Yeah. I'd like to see Kobe get, get running a little bit. There we go. Fight it. Fight you get it. that big back in that fullback position in, the, in this, and, and we might have a complete team, partner. Yeah. Can't move. Tyrese and Keenan back and forth in that. You can run them to death, especially early in the season. But yeah, sure. Kobe's got the the weight and the little bit of a strength. The strength to yeah. get through that. That is true. I'd All like right. to see him get, get going here. Second down and eight for the Bulldogs. Set up in the quick pitch. Eight. Up, turn it up. Keenan is going to give yep. a – that's a stiff arm now. Yep, he's going to get down <laughs> about the 13-yard line. I, 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 got, I watched – He's not uh, very big, but, boy, oh, he, he plays big. He plays like 250 pounds. Yeah, he plays big. That's what you want. Picks up the first down for the Bulldogs as they move down. Mm -hmm. Down inside the red zone. Bulldogs are marching, driving, should I say? There's get outside, Kobe. get outside. There's there the speed. Go. That's okay. He's going. Yeah. We wanted to see a little bit of that. Right. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, I believe. Possibility. Holding on the offense, uh -oh. number 11. Uh -huh. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Hmm. Gotta back the dogs up some. First down and 20. On the 23. A little misdirection here. Yeah. Mister, uh, well, let's see. Play action. Got uh, Porter out, out wide. Nope, we're going to go with Kobe up the middle, and I don't, I don't mind it. He's going to pick up. Yeah. We're working clock now. Now we are under three and a half left in this third. Zachariah Porter was the wide receiver to the top of your screen. Plenty of time to get that. Oh, yeah. Call in. Second and half a country mile. Yes, sir. Here we go. He's going to keep it. He's nice gonna, move yep. by Jamad. Yep. He's going to get down and I don't, I don't, side to 10. I don't think he's uh, thinking about that knee anymore, partner. You don't no. see that shyness that we saw in the first game. You're right about that. He, he is. Uh, he's down to the six. <clears throat> Here's a replay. Going to come right downtown into your screen. It's a nice block by 
Good Who move right there. Who was that? Who's 75? Nathan Wolbrick. Okay. Pulling that time. We're at two minutes and ten seconds. Uh-oh. Slot. We may have just picked up the first down. Yeah. We changed the snap. See? Change the snap. What you got to do. Change the snap count. Flag on the play. Encroachment. Offsides, as they say. <laughs> that microphone's not broken. I just did crack. This is what happened earlier today. Offsides on the defense, number 60. Half the distance to the goal. First down. So Keith drew the, the small straw, the straw today, mm -hmm. the, the long straw, whatever you want to call it. And we had him running. He ran down the field with that microphone, and it uh -huh. worked everywhere he went. He got to the 10. Bless his heart, he was so out of breath that people were worried of what's going on in the stadium. He was panting. Was mistreating and, yes. somebody, yeah. Throw throw it, just throw, throw it away. It. Oh, ah. yeah, there you go. Throw just it away. Hit him in the – He was being – he was being covered very well by the Goose Creek Memorial uh -huh. linebacker there. Jamad putting it where only he could get it. Yeah, and actually it hit the defender and yeah. bounced down there. We got a Roman camera tonight. That's where you're getting those great shots from, folks. Yep. Get you on the field where you can't be. All right, we're at the three-yard line here. He's gone. Touchdown. Touchdown. There it is. Kenan Lawrence. I can't count how many he's scored already tonight. Yeah. Outstanding. No, no doubt about it. Act like you've been job. there before. He's just going to walk off. There you go. Okay, let's get the kicker set this time. Yeah. Oswaldo Lopez. All right, Lopez. Freshman partner. I hate to hear that. But I like to see it go through. That's right. There it is. All right. Freshman kicker steps through the ball. Just like that. Here's a replay. A little misdirection comes back, and Keenan ended up running The only into person it. touched him was his lineman. Yeah, he, he, he ran into He bounced off his lineman. Braden yeah. picked the block up, and he, yeah. he just. 55-17. Bulldogs up. Minute 48 left in the third quarter. You know, um, AT&T Sports has a Thursday night game now, and, mm -hmm. and there has to be something of uh, how the, the officials are taking time for their timeouts. Okay. We're going to have to look into that because we a game like this for us, it's hard for us to get our sponsors in. So right. We, we, and it's not fair to them, but that's the way the high school game is. This uh, game – this game's in, in particular, yes, yes, sir. Especially this yeah. game because it's going fast, fast. It is. Um, but we we'll get you there, folks. We're gonna get we're gonna get them on there because we we love you, we appreciate you, and we uh, need you. Yeah, <laughs> we need you. You are you are great partners to the community. That's for sure. We're having too much fun down there. I know. Boston. I can. Yeah, they're way, way too much fun in the booth. Yeah, he's going to feel that about the 18. Colton Smith, there he is again. Called his name a couple times yep. tonight on special teams. He runs up to the 26 and puts on the brakes. Gavin McAvoy and Colton Smith. That's, that happens when you have white jerseys on you. Bulldogs covered that kick good. I'm. I am going to bet that they're giving three plays, line up and go. We got to get something on the board. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're You're gonna, right. We're going to go. Cause it, yeah, good call. Cause it that's looked like that looked like what they were doing. Yeah, they, they've got to keep us time around. Keep us off balance and don't let them don't let them sub. We got Tuffy down there talking to the young ones, future uh, Bulldogs. All right, here we go. A new quarterback in. Yeah, a new quarterback in. You know, Ooh. he got up limping after that he, uh, he last did. series. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he did. You're correct. Yeah. Jose Vidal, Vidal 
on the tackle again. Uh -huh. Called his name a lot tonight. He's a junior linebacker. 17 is Ethan Hutchinson, a sophomore quarterback. For uh, Goose Creek Memorial. Uh -oh. oh, we're offsides. Some, somebody was offsides. Hey, they got it. it. If we weren't, there's uh, wow. Number twenty on the run. That's a new, new back. Also, I don't know how we didn't. I don't think they've all <laughs> done offside. Uh, Jalen Green right. has now checked in for the Patriots. Hey, there's the student section. Yeah, I know a few of those people. Again, volleyball played early tonight because it's homecoming. They played at 4.30 against Santa Fe. I did not get a score on that. They were up 2-0, I heard, and end up losing. Oh. Yeah. Up 2-0 and ended up dropping it. Yes, sir. You know, our last, our last uh, match that we had over in the Bulldog Center, uh, Arrington was just absolutely – Lights out. Lights out. Yeah. She played above the net the entire time. That's awesome. Back All right, here we go. Got press coverage on the outside. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a while either. Man, the speed. Young man is, is uh, he's not tall, but he yeah. is built. Yeah, sure. He's got that quick burst. That's going to end the third quarter. We're going to let you hear from some of our sponsors. We'll be right back. Lou Ann Martin is an original founder of the Laporte Education Foundation and served on the board of directors. Her sons, Lee and CJ, were athletes and graduates from Laporte High School. Main Properties has been a vital part of the Laporte community and a huge supporter of Laporte ISD for over 30 years. Call Lou Ann at Main Properties for your real estate needs. Go dogs! Are you looking for your dream home? Or maybe ready to sell your current home for a fresh start? Main Properties is here to provide you a personal and stress-free process. Main Properties has been servicing the Laporte area and its surrounding cities for over 30 years with pride and spirit. Let one of our expert realtors here at Main Properties provide you with the caring service that is tailored to what you need. Come see us in the heart of Old Laporte at 1014 South 2nd Street and let us put sold on your sign. All right, folks, look at here. Hey, there they are. Yep. Dr. Jackson and Mr. Bromley, the new deputy superintendent little, and little, superintendent. A little delayed handoff worked well for Goose Creek Memorial there. Oh, they've put it. They've put uh, they put him back in, Isaiah Castillo. Mm -hmm. He's back in now. We got Colin Plate, the line of scrimmage here. And throw the ball out. Oh, he's slinging a little bit. Yeah. Is that a sophomore? Yes, sir. Sophomore. Sophomore. Big games tomorrow at the college level. Hmm. There are some big ones, partner. Yes, I know you. I know you know which one I'm talking about. Nervous. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm but. nervous. <laughs> you know. Man. Arkansas, South Carolina, and and then uh, my alma mater goes to. Uh, oh. I didn't want that ball yet. Yeah, we still had a wide receiver on our side of the field coming across. Yeah. They're going to back up five here. My alma mater goes to the horseshoe. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's not going to be. There's no, nothing nice on that as uh, yeah. they go to Ohio Just the State. paycheck. That's all that, like all that yeah. game's going to be. Paycheck. I think it's going to be closer than the experts think, but it's not going to be. It's right. going to be pretty. Um Check the scoreboard from 85A real quick. If I can get it up in the app, and it's frozen. All right, here we go. Another missed nap. Young man's got some wheels on him. He does. Yeah. That he does. 
He gets to that second level quick, at least the outside anyway. Partner, I don't have any updates whatsoever. I'm going to kill the app and see if it's just uh, not. 10-15 left in this contest. Bulldogs up 55-17. We like seeing that 5-5. Five, five. Two weeks in a row they've scored over 40. Uh-oh. Oh, who wants it? Whoop. Yep, I got it. Uh, little, here we little go. Chris Berman, I heard you there. Yeah. Uh, update real quick. Uh, Barbers Hills up 42 to 7 over Sterling. Uh huh. The Crosby Cougars now 34 14 over Lee. Oh, they opened it up. Yeah, they, they there it was. I told you halftime was a lot of game to be played. There's yeah. still 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter with that score. Yeah, Crosby's not ranked for nothing. Right. Deer Park 42, Beaumont Westbrook 14, late in the fourth there. And uh, Beaumont United, which is no longer in our district, but they're 28-21 against Alvin. Quick kick here. Oh, not. What? No, sir. Hello. Yeah. I I really think, well, no. The, no the I would have thought the backs would have. Yeah, I thought the, the, the guys in back there would have. Taking off if it was going to be a fake. How about a replay here? Cause I think the I think the snap took him that way. Yeah. We didn't have a replay. We do have a replay. We'll see. No. Nope. They're we, having too much fun down there. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Here you go. Oh, never oh, no. mind. <laughs> never mind. It's not the official we want. Wow. Here we go. Bulldog Quick. ball. Quick pitch back to Kobe. He's going to pick up a great – oh, that's a great yard, six six yards. All right. We got a new quarterback in the game. Colton Smith, is that who that is? No, that's not. That's 14. Yeah. That's uh, Bryce Cole. Bryce Cole, yes. the junior. I was going to say, that's, at first I saw a four, but yes. Bryce Cole will take over for the Bulldogs. see all right here we go oh ball on the ground oh, there you go what? go he's gonna score he's gonna score are you kidding broken me. play yeah are right. you know what? Bryce Cole he picks it up and runs for his life runs into his uh runs into his runs own to player center. yeah and uh I'd rather be lucky than good sometimes yeah right now I this, mean, that's, that's you know, it Bryce Cole gets his name in the uh when in the book now. Yeah. Me and my wife got married. That's what I, I told I saw, her. I'd rather yeah, be lucky way, than good. Yeah, right. You know, so worked out so far. Freshman's going to step in, step through here. Nice snap, nice hold, step through. They yeah, were offside. Yeah. We're going to go away. We had a new holder that time. Caden Hisataki had held the ball for the kick. Here's the snap in – Bryce picks it up. Yep. Runs for. Got some wheels on him. That he does. Had a few little blocks there. Pulling guard. Got him. Stepped on his foot and ran into him. Yeah. Oh, be careful down there, cheerleaders. Yeah. That asphalt don't give. Folks, things are changing a little bit back to normal here in LaPorte. You got your student section back. You got a little bit of a physical football team. Mm -hmm. Big difference from week one. Yes. You know, I mean, it, it just. Uh, got a little coaching going on on yeah. the sideline still. Yeah, that's what you want. 62 17. We're excited about having Coach Bernithi here. It's a, it, it, he reminds me that the last time that I did anything with him was 22 years ago now. Oh, he had to remind you. I, I Every, remember you. He did yeah. it again on uh, did Tuesday. He? Yes, did he done he? that to me again. You know Tuesday. you know who he reminds me a little bit of? Charlie Wise. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. He, he uh, football is life. Yeah. And, uh. He married the right person also because she understands it and knows it. Yeah. That's awesome. Jack going to kick off for us here. Oh, look here. We're going to go okay. back to about the yeah. 
14-yard line. All right. He's going to cut it up. He's going to take it outside. He's going to run out of room. Fumble. Nope. Nope. No, nope. I a, thought he fumbled. Yeah, that's 30. just a – Isaiah. I was getting a little excited there. Isaiah you, tackle we, on the tackle again. We don't need to really put any more points on the board if we can keep from it. Clock should run. Yeah. As soon as it's set. Continuous clock. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to put some something down there because they're having too much fun. I'm. Uh, we're gonna have to break them up. Well, I have to move Richburg inside. Well, that, you you in know there. what they they say. You know, if you they say if you can't get along, if you can't play together. Yes, we're gonna have to separate yeah, exactly. you. Exactly. But we're having too much fun. We're all having fun though, folks. We love being here. Oh, who was that? Miss that high. tackle. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was waiting for the ball to come towards him. Yeah. Twenty-seven. 27 Suarez. 37. 37. 37. It's Angel Garcia. I think he wasn't prepared for him to come. He was looking for it to go the opposite way. He already broke down. There we go. There you go. Oh, oh, ball's out. Big man got it for the – nope, nope. Ball still is being shuffled around here. I believe Zachary Gregg, 84, it is. We got it. Zachary Gregg. It's going to cause the fumble, and it's going to go back to the Bulldogs. Yeah. 84, it is. Yep. Zachary Gregg with the yeah. forced two. fumble. 12 recovers it. And then, uh, oh, we got to. Yeah, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back, folks. This Saturday, while you watch the game, we're watching the grill. Order through the Jersey Mike's app for free Saturday delivery, unless you're going to miss seeing this. Introducing free Saturday delivery. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Thanks, South Region Driving School. We are Gringo's Tex Mex. Home to sizzling fajitas, quality ingredients, friendly team members, and excellent value. Whether it's a lunch with friends, celebrating a special occasion, or picking up dinner to bring home to the family, think Gringos. We're in business today because of this great community that supports us, and we thank you. We are your hometown Tex-Mex, here to serve you before or after the game. Go Bulldogs! All right, folks, we're back. Bulldogs got the ball. Um, young man. Let's see who we got here real 14's quick. 14's back at quarterback. Grayson Harris is in the backfield. That's number nine. Number 22 is Leland Tran. Yes, sir. He is a junior. And then the junior quarterback. Yep, Bryce Cole Bryce is still Cole. in. I'll get you wide receivers in just a second. Just run the ball. There you Oh, that's Leland. a quick pitch. Leland Tran has got uh, the speed. We got a flag. Yeah. Got a whole group of yeah, I, new that's people. That's not in. a Kleenex. We got a hold, I believe. We have here. Yeah. Ten is Tristan Kelly. Yeah. And I don't know who the top wide. Oh, got a chop block. Uh oh. He's gonna back us up a few. Yeah, a few we don't want to get anybody hurt. Call Grayson. 18 is uh, Zachariah Porter. He's been in the game before this this series. So I think everybody else is. Gotcha. Offensive line's changed up a little Again, bit. Again, folks, uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, halftime festivities, you know, the homecoming court. And uh, the band will play after the game, and that will be uh, – that will be broadcasted. You could stick around and watch that. We hope that you do. Uh-oh. That's told speed you right speed. there, partner. That is speed, speed, speed. Leland Tran runs the uh, four by 
for the Bulldogs. He's been doing it with uh, Lawrence and, the, and and Smith for the last two years. I don't think anybody touched him. I don't think they did either. Other than the quarterback when he handed him the ball. So Tran's going to get his name in the scorebook tonight. Uh-huh. Um, speaking of that, you had Tran, Smith, Lawrence, and I cannot remember who the, f- ah, the fourth person of that relay, relay on that yeah. relay team yeah. that's been running since they were freshmen. Speed kills. I mean, he two stepped that one. He didn't just step and kick. It's going to be good. There's a little more of a kick there. Well, here's a replay. Let's see if anybody touched him. No. No. 69-17 now is your score. Don't turn it off. You'll get to see the mighty Bulldog band at the end mm-hmm. as they perform. I, I don't know how many students they have in, in the band, but there are a bunch. Yeah. Was that a credit card number given out? I think what? that's a 50-50. <laughs> oh, 50 50. Never mind. You're right. Yeah, I think they're I drawing about for 50-50. the 50-50. Yeah. The Booster Club does. That's a good I, idea. I believe they do that. Yeah. Well, here we go. Bulldogs will kick off to the Patriots. Here we go. Jag will kick off again. His leg's going to get tired tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good kick. Yep, it's going to stay on the hashes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, get out here. There you go. Good. There you go. Don't, oh, don't hit him out of bounds. Grayson Harris Help is going to get the Help him up. Help him up. Help him up. Help him up. Grayson Harris is going to get the tackle. Grayson's been on a couple of tackles on special teams tonight already. Yes, sir. See Erie Bright going back out. And, yes, that is Eric's brother. Uh-huh. I told you I have a video of him against Barry Miller in junior high that is just – young man goes into beast mode. Yeah. I think he hit every Barry Miller player on the sideline <laughs> and on the field <laughs> in that one play. Right. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Oliver is out there. I saw Anthony. I did. I saw. Uh oh, we got a timeout. We got a exposed pad. Uh huh. Number seven. Yep. Uh, he got it. He, has that here. he was 20. the one who ran the kickoff back. Here we go. That young man can run. Yeah, he can. He's got good vision. He does. You know, He's... you want that downfield vision, that's what you want. I mean, pile of Bulldogs got him down, but not before he's able to get first down and some more. Clock running, 6.50. Yeah, it should run. Yeah. It should run here now. You can hear the uh, show man Patriot. Get a little work in here. You can hear the Patriot band across uh-huh. from us, and they... They oh, are playing. He's going to lose yards. Greg again on the tackle. Number 12. Escudero again on the yep. there also. Went in to try to help him up too. Show some class right there. There we go. Drop. Oh, oh my goodness, man! That ball is live. They're gonna get yeah. it. Erie Bright just lit him up. <sighs> he he got him right under the arm. Yeah, as he was. Yes. Yeah. Uh, exposed. He was exposed uh, as Erie was coming through. 
Mm. Uh, we may have a bulldog on the field. Yeah. Oh, he's up. He's up. He wasn't taking a break. Fish, head official <laughs> had him, helped him up. I don't know yeah. who. I couldn't Doc tell. Doc was headed out there. Yeah. Our trainers were scrambling to get on the field. and He said, I just want a breather. That Yuri, was a lick. Yuri just uh, came. They're going to call that an incomplete pass, yeah. Yeah, it, it was. It, yeah. It went, went straight up. I don't know if he was right. moving forward or if Yuri hit it that way. Oh. Just there out of the reach of the back coming out of the backfield. Yeah, I think we got away Got with that a, rush on there. I think we got away with one there. We were may have been a little, a little early. bit early out of the gates. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget coming up on LPSN volleyball versus Texas City on 913. And then back here 923 against Barbers Hill. Folks, you better buy your tickets early that week. I'm telling you, they're going to bring a crowd. Yep. They may be uh, may be undefeated coming into that game. Goose Creek Memorial is going to punt here. Clock running. He finally feels it. Kicks oh, it left footed. My goodness. Yeah. He was just he was trying to protect himself. Yeah, he was. Um, Bulldogs will go over to. Stallworth next week on Friday. Play Baytown Lee. I'll check on our scores as the clock says 5.46. Mm-hmm. See if I can get any interesting games that are close by also while this reloads. Well, never mind. It just crashed again. Hmm. You make that much money, you ought to, ought to. Dave Campbell ought to be able to put out an app that works. Right. They're too busy talking. Let's see. All right, here we go. Bulldog ball. Hand off. That's going to be a good gain of about six yards, a little over six. Keep the ball on the ground. Let the clock run out. All right, final over at Abshire Stadium. Deer Park Deer at 49. Beaumont Westbrook 21. Crosby 34. Baytown Lee 21. Galveston balls up 39 nothing. That's a final now. Just went final as I was calling it out. Barbers Hill 52, Baytown Sterling 7. Oof. That still shows seven minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah. In the uh, fourth. Santa Fe, Pasadena, Rayburn. I got this one earlier from Derek, 51-13 yesterday. Trying to oh, see if there's... Oh, we got flag thrown from back in the parking lot. Clear Creek, Channel View, at Channel View. Clear Creek 24, Channel View 21. Yeah. I have no idea what ProVision Academy is, but there are, they've not scored a point. Hmm. Uh, Texas City is playing Monterey, Mexico, and they're losing 19 to 10. Huh. We had a delay of game call on the Bulldogs, letting the play clock run down, and that's okay. He's digging, digging, digging. Good handoff there. Good run by the young. Uh, Grayson Harris. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to call it out. C.E. King, 42, Pearland, 0. Wow. Wow. Ah. Goodness, C.E. Yeah. King, 42, Pearland, 0. Hmm. Third quarter, 326 left. Somebody's playing with that one, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Pearland would score. You're right. I would. Oh. Turn it up. Leland, hold the ball. He's going to get the first down. Yeah, he's keep that to clock the, going. Get to the 45. I don't know why they're not running the clock. This should be a yeah continuous automatic. clock out of here. Yeah. It's running. Be a, ho a good home coming for the Bulldogs this year. Yes, sir. Again, they go to Baytown. Kind of early this year, but yep. uh, yeah, it's, it, it is, is what it is. They go to Baytown next week at Stalworth, 7 p.m. Uh -huh. kickoff over there. 
Um, again, on the cameras, you saw them. They, they, they got their own uh, lineup. I, I'm telling you, when they, yeah. you let them do everything, they put themselves in the game. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be held up right there at the line of scrimmage. So, all right, we are down to right at three minutes left in this contest. 34 is Jorge Rodriguez. Folks, don't forget, coming up, uh, let me give you this. LaPorte Health and Safety Fair will be next Saturday, September 17th from 10 to 1 here at the high school. For, information, for more information, you can visit lpsafetyfair.org. Uh-huh. Again, we uh, recognize the distinguished alumni and citizens tonight. They were Terry Cook, Debbie Wade, Joel Fagan, Ann Malone, and Rachel Cotton. All right. We want to thank them. Ooh. Hey, look at Man. That young man hit it, bounced off his legs there. Although Rodriguez, number five is a little guy. Rodriguez is a junior. Yeah, and he's, he runs with some force. Yes, he does. Here we go. Yep. All right, we are approaching two minutes here left in this contest. Good showing from the Bulldogs tonight. Lopsided. Oh, I, 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 I can tell you this. They did not run the score up on purpose. It was no. just like That's that just busted it, play. Yes, I mean, busted what play. else you going to do? Last thing the coach wants is him to, to lay down on right. it, you know. Don't forget, you can check out our new website. You can go to lpisd.org. Oh, yeah. Good website. Athletics, it's got a lot of stuff on there. There will be a write-up tonight after the ball game by Coach Ligon. He'll, he'll get that in. Uh, you can also check out the scoreboard. You can check out the rosters. You can check out the news. Everything's on there. If you want to go straight to the website, lpisdathletics.com. If you don't want to see that, check out the parking lot. There you go. Check out the – yeah. It's almost completely finished. They're going to get in the victory formation right here with 117 left, and it's yeah. going to be – it's going to be homecoming. They'll snap it a couple times and uh, – I should have no. ran it just a little longer, but that's okay. No formation you'd rather see on homecoming than the victory formation. Yes, sir. Folks, again, thank you for watching. If you're still here, the band will perform tonight. Don't run off. Yep. They've been working just as hard as everyone else. That is true. Uh, drum line sounding good tonight. Chados will perform. What in the world's happening? We've got. And that's going to do it. That'll do it right there. Let the clock run down. Folks, we're going to step away. Not be our normal night to. Uh, Yep. Take you off the air, but we're going to step away. There you go. There's a little behind-the-scenes action of what happens with our yeah. kids, uh, with our students. Uh, but we're going to step away. You'll see them shake hands, and then the Mighty Bulldog Band will follow us. Uh, partner, I'll see you uh, on the 13th. Yes, sir. Good night, folks. Thank you all very much, and uh, safe travels wherever you're going. Enjoy the band. Yep. Stay away from Walmart. All right.
The band will be performing in just a few minutes. I got a good video for you. Ask your mom. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the performance of the award-winning LaPorte Mighty Bulldog Band and Color Guard for your halftime entertainment. This year's show is titled The Golden Ratio. LaPorte Band and Guard members of the week, Brass Section, Andrew Diaz and Gabriela Chavez. Woodwind Section, Brandon Garza and Tiffany Patterson. Drumline and Front Ensemble, Josue Martinez and Alexa Garza. Color Guard, Norton Avalos. Section of the Week, Bass Clarinets. Please join me in welcoming to the field drum majors Melanie Raimundo, Joseph Summer, and Candace Lynch, and the Laporte Mighty Bulldog Marching Band in their homecoming performance of the Golden Ratio.
Ladies and gentlemen, the award-winning Laporte Band and Color Guard. The band is under the direction of Doug Eager, Michael Lehman, and Mark Fennell. Color Guard director, directors are Angie Pebla and Taylor Cottrell. Great job, Band and Color Guard.